Hey guys, this is Alala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia. So, let's jump right back in. <clears throat> what? Alright, come on, game. Is your friend hitting on your boyfriend? I do. But I don't know if this is it. For example, if I walk behind you. So, how do you feel now? Huh? Like, oh, what was I doing? What? She's back to normal! Sorry, I've got a strange condition. Everyone who looks at my eyes starts acting all weird. What? So the rumor was true! You experienced it firsthand just now. But you'll be fine as long as you don't look at my eyes. I see. Oh, this is kind of shocking. The manager doesn't let me wear sunglasses here, because he says I attract customers. Sorry, just try to relax. Elizabeth, I'll talk to the manager, so you can go ahead and chat for a while. I feel like I was watching some sort of magic show! You know, like where they use hypnosis to make someone who hates mushrooms love them all of a sudden. Is this Iki's condition? <clears throat> That's way beyond human. How was he able to do that? Huh. That was surprising. I'm sorry. I know he's your boyfriend, but I said something stupid just now. But it really felt like I was under a spell or something. No wonder it makes people turn all weird. I'm really sorry. I really was out of my mind. Are you mad? Come on. Come on. Let me click through, please. I don't think you could really get mad after witnessing something like that. <coughs> Are you serious, game? Come on. Alright, uh... Just don't fall in love with him. I won't! I won't! And are you really that serious about him? Well, that's unexpected. Whoops. If the you before really or really was serious about him, well, I think it was strange too. To tell you the truth, saying I wanted to see you in your maid uniform it was just an excuse. Oh, uh, what? I came to see him. I just wondered what kind of guy he was after hearing the rumors. And I was, um, worried that you might be having trouble. I mean, I think that's a good enough excuse to drop by, right? Anyway, are you sure you're really okay? That guy's definitely had more than his share of women. I thought if I actually met him, I'd be able to tell if that rumor was a lie or not. <coughs> oh, come on. So, uh, what's the truth? Is that rumor real or not? Wait a minute, what rumor are you talking about? His condition? I know that condition is causing some trouble, but I don't think you're having too hard of a time. Or could she be talking about a different rumor? If she is, then we need to ask her for more details about it. What rumors have you heard? Hmm, 
I've heard a lot of rumors, but the one I hear the most is that one. I heard that he just goes from one girl he likes to another, breaking up with them after sleeping with them. He's really nice while you're dating, but he just thinks it as or he thinks of it as a fun game to win girls over. I thought the rumor that anyone who looked him in the eye would fall in love with him was definitely fake. But now after meeting him, I know that it, or that it's real. Um, this might be prying a little, but how far have you two gone? Oh, um, uh, sorry. I know you don't like talking about these things. It's just after meeting him today, I started thinking that other rumors might be true too. He's so smooth with girls. It doesn't even matter what kinds of rumors are going around, or that these kinds of rumors are going around. And that if and if that rumor is true, once he's had his way with you, he might just throw you away. If you really do like him, you might not want to let him catch you with your guard down. It might be game over after he's won you over, after all. I I'm sorry. I know I just sound nosy. And I'm sure you know about this better than anyone. I was just worried. <sighs> sorry about that. Oh, it looks like I kept you for a long time. I know you're working. I'll call you, so you can get back to work now. I wonder if that was all true. If it is, and if you believed the rumors before losing your memories... It's possible that you didn't let him kiss you because you really liked him and didn't want to be thrown away. Hmm, maybe I'm overthinking it. But it's also suspicious that he changed his work shifts to match yours and how he's holding back going around with other girls. Oh, what a bother. I just want to ask him about it. A full inky interrogation. I think you should get back to work. The manager's eyes are scary. <coughs> the end of our day. Good job getting through the day. Still, today sure was full of surprises. The rumors about Iki and the change that happened at Sawa. Sawa's reaction was pretty obvious, no matter how you look at it. If you look Iki in the eye, you feel like you're falling in love. That's what Iki calls his condition. Well, I can totally understand why Iki would always be wearing sunglasses in that case. But still... This might be strange coming from the spirit, but I don't think that condition is possible for a human. If that power is real, this might be the first time I've ever seen a human with true supernatural powers. Could he be using that supernatural power to play around with girls? I think we're finally starting to understand more about Iki. There's a rumor that he just throws girls away after sleeping with them, huh? Anyway, I think we should rest for today. It's probably best to think about tomorrow tomorrow, right? Sometimes. Well, most of the time, actually. But yes. <laughs> August 7th.
Hmm. Oh, good morning! The sounds like today will be really cold too. That's a weird thing to say in August, I know. Try not to catch a cold, and let's do our best today. Yiki's all smiles and charming. You're charmed today too. We've been thinking so much about that rumor that we're feeling all burned out now. Huh? If only we could verify the rumor was someone other than Sawa. I'm sure Shin would just say it's none of his business and end the conversation. Come on, game. And if we ask the manager, he'd just yell something like another love affair stop slacking off. And it's not like you can just go up to Iki himself and ask, are you just going to throw me away after we sleep together? I think at the very least, Iki felt you didn't have or didn't actually have strong feelings towards him. But there's also the chance that you were just putting on an act because you didn't want to be thrown away. In the end, the only one who knows the truth is you, who old you, before you lost your memories and all. Why are you just standing around? The manager will be here soon. Ooh, it's already time! Alright, no use feeling worried today. Let's just hope something happens to bring back memories and get things done. It's time for work. Move out. Then, put on your Japanese-style maid uniform. Welcome back, Master. How cute. And then day turns to evening. Oh, hi. <coughs> Again. Ah, it's Ike! Yes, yes. Could you quiet down just a little? Seriously? Sure, if he's got a condition like that, he couldn't help this from happening. But he's wearing sunglasses. <coughs> Why are all those girls so crowding around him? Are they just so madly in love that they don't even need the power of his eyes anymore? Ten minutes later. Sorry for the wait. Hmm, you look kind of down. What is wrong? Oh, what's wrong? That reminds me, you haven't seemed very lively all morning. The manager just said you or you lack fighting spirit. <coughs> that's all, or that's your fault. All you. Do you still not feel well? I thought you've been getting better lately, but. Take care of yourself. The weather's been kind of weird. If you get sick, you won't be able to go to Shinano. It's not like that. Wait. Shinano? Shinano? If I recall, that was a tourist spot up in the mountains where people go during summer. Hey, could that be the place where you, or where you had plans to go starting on the 19th? Wow, Iki brought up the best possible topic! Alright, just go with it and try to get some details about that Shinano trip. Um... Are you ready for the 19th? Come on. It's not really something to get ready for. Why do you ask all of a sudden? 
Is there something you can't find for the trip? I'd be willing to help. Although, going to places with a lot of people would cause us some trouble, so I can't go shopping with you. Uh, that's uh, okay. Maybe it's a coincidence that Iki has plans to go somewhere else starting on the 19th. <coughs> what gets me is that I thought this was some sort of lovey dovey Shinado vacation together. If you need something, maybe you could go shopping with Sawa. Sawa was going too, right? The girl I met the other day. It sounds like it'll be fun. Wait, Sawa too? So that means Iki is coming too? In other words, this isn't a trip to Shinado for the two of you. It's for a group. Your sudden curiosity is making me think you're starting to look forward to it. I don't think we'll be able to be alone together. Oh, I know. I think you can sneak out that night. If there is a chance we can be alone together, I definitely can't wait either. I'm sure the stars will be beautiful. We might be able to see a different night sky uh, from where we're able to or from what we're able to see around here. I want to see it with you, and only you. What do you think? Sound good? I'm kidding. I, did, er, I need to win you over by the time we went to the lodge if we were going to do that, wouldn't I? Hmm. Only two weeks left. I'd usually say it'd be an easy thing to do, but this is you we're talking about. So, are you ready to give in? It'll make our trip that much more fun. We've been working all summer. We should let loose and have fun at the lodge. I won't do anything you don't want me to. No good. I'm sure that's the case. I wouldn't be struggling so much if you gave in. Uh, just from my saying something like this. I guess that means I need to work harder. Ah, at the very least. Just don't let some other guy win you, or win you, alright? Is winning really something a boyfriend should say talking about you? That's kind of weird. But still, a lodge, hmm. If you're going to or if you're going to a lodge, it might be with a school club or something. I wonder if you and Iki are in the same club as school. You must get along really well. Yeah, anyway, it's good that this doesn't sound like a vacation for just the two of you. Oh, whore, do you think that's actually kind of a shame? earlier, a friend from my university wanted me to introduce him to Sawa. Just so we're clear, it wasn't my idea, okay? <laughs> huh? My university? Joint trip? Does Zeki go to a different university? Hmm, this might be worth asking about. Um... Do I know them? He's from my school, so I don't think you'd know him. I'll introduce you at the lodge. Alright, come on. Thank you. Yeah, it really sounds like you and Iki go to different schools. I wonder what the joint trip is for. 
still, this sounds like a good chance to meet lots of people at the lodge and reclaim some memories. That reminds me, today makes exactly one week since I started living here alongside you. Let's see, what have you remembered in the past week? But that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!